Many natural disasters focus on many things, some of which are some of the technology that you need. And to save lives, what you really need is batteries. That's what most people rely on, right, Jack? But how can we do this a little bit better? Yeah, you're actually right. They think of batteries or generators, and there's some inherent problems with both of those. As we recently heard in the news, the Consumer Product Safety Group is now requiring generators to put safety warnings. People have died by using their generators indoors. They have died by using their generators indoors. Okay, so you have a natural disaster, and then you have another disaster. That's not a good thing. Yeah, actually, our fuel cell generator, this one right here, the XRT, is running right now, no fumes, no byproduct. It's running right now. It's running right now. It's, it's quiet. It's I can't silent. silent. I can't smell anything. No fumes. Wow. Use it inside. That's very cool. Yeah. So it, it really is truly the next evolution in power and backup power more specifically. Batteries, same problem. We've all gone underneath to get the flashlight and it's dead. You would use a fuel cell canister. This is actually a hydrogen canister. It can sit on a shelf for years, 10, 15 years. And the bottom line is when you go to grab it, it's ready to go to give you power. You put that product, the canister, into the engine and start yourself 100 watts of 12 volt power. This will run anything from your notebook computers, your cell phone chargers. We really think power support is the key market for this. Someday these will be in cars, someday they'll be in your notebook, but right now it's more about not what you're using your power for, but kind of how you use it. Ultimately, we all go looking for a plug in a wall, and when the plug's not there because of something, disaster, whatever, that's when it breaks down and we're in a big world of hurt. So fuel cells are ready, on demand, power, anytime you need them.